Hi, this is Dan from CicadaMania.com, and this video will talk about how to identify the various species of periodical cicada living in the United States. So these aren't the annual cicadas that come out every year, not the green ones. These are the uh, black and orange and red ones that come out every 17 or 13 years, depending on where you live. First step to make things easy is to find a brood chart. Now, a brood chart will help you align the species with the year and the cycle, 17 or 13, and the brood number. There's one on cicadamania.com, there's one on magiccicada.org, just search for cicada brood chart. Once you know if the cicada has a 17 or 13 year life cycle, you'll know the different species it can be. So there's three 17 year and four 13 year cicada. It's worth noting that across 17-year and 13-year species, there's more or less three groups that are very similar. There's the decim, the cassini, and the decula. The decim, you have the M. septum decim, that's a 17-year cycle. The M. neotrae decim and the M. tray decim, both those are 13-year. The septum decim and neotrae decim, uh, they're very similar, with the tray decim being slightly different, and I'll get into that later. The cassini, you have the M. cassini, and the M. tray decassini, uh, and the decula, you have M. septum decula and the M. tray decula. First, let's talk about the uh, magic cicada of septum decim, described by Linnaeus in 1758. It has a 17-year life cycle. It's known for its weo or pharaoh song. It's larger than the cassini and decula types. It has black and orange stripes on its abdomen and orange between the eye and the wing. And here's what it sounds like. And here is what its chorus sounds like. A chorus is when a group of them to get together and synchronize their song. Next up, the magic cicada Trey Desson, first described by Walsh and Ryland. In 1868, tray decim means 13 year, and it is one of the two 13 year decims. Look at that orange belly. That's one of the key indicators that it is a tray decim, much more orange than the other two decim. And but all other diagnostic features, the songs, uh, the size, and the coloring between the eye and the wing, virtually the same. Now the tray decim tend to exist in southern states, so Mississippi, Louisiana, Tennessee, while the neo trade decimal, which I'll describe in a second, that's up in Illinois and Missouri. Next up is the M. neo trade decim, first described by Marshall and Cooley in 2000. It has a 13 year life cycle and it's pretty much totally indistinguishable from a magic K to septum decim to the point where I'm using septum decim photos. Uh, it's Distinguishable from the tray decim in that it's more of the orange and black stripe motif on the on the abdomen. And when both are in the same area, like a slim border area, like uh, Giant City, Illinois, let's say, uh, they take the higher pitch sound and then the tray decim make a lower pitch sound. So neo tray decim will go and the tray decim will go. Next up is the magic cicada Cassini, first described by Fisher in 1851. It has a 17-year life cycle. To me, the call sounds like a bunch of little fast ticks, followed by a shrill buzz. It's smaller than decims and about the same size as decula. Really, it's the smallest of all, and it's also called the dwarf cicada. Its abdomen is almost entirely black in the east, uh, in the west, it could feature orange stripes just like the decula. So really the best way to diagnose it is its call and that it's smaller than decims. So here's what it sounds like. And this is what their chorus sounds like. Again, a chorus is when a bunch of them get together and synchronize their calls.
To me, the chorus of a Cassini sounds like waves of static. So you found an old radio and tuned to a channel that doesn't exist. To me, that's what it sounds like. Compare that to the chorus of a Decim, which sounds more like a landing UFO, uh, has a bit of a tone to it, and less like static. Next up is the Magic Cicada Trade Deck Cassini. And it was first described by Alexander and Moore in 1962. It's pretty much the same thing as a Magic Cicada Cast Night, but it has that 13 year life cycle. But in that photo, those are definitely Magic Cicada Trade Deck Cast and I, and they're compared to a quarter there, and that's about how big they are. Typically, it could be bigger, it could be smaller. And their song and their chorus is virtually the same as the Magic Cicada Cast and I, so just go back and listen to that. So we talked about the Decims, and we talked about the Cassini. Now let's talk about the Decula. First, let's talk about the Magic Cicada Septen Decula. Septen, meaning 17. First described by Alexander and Moore in 1962. Its song slowly builds and ends in a tick, 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 tick sound. It's smaller than Decims, and about the same size as Cassini. Maybe a little bit bigger. About the same size. Key diagnostic feature other than the song, would be that its abdomen is black and orange striped. Not quite as vividly as a decim, but the decula black and orange nonetheless. Now let's play their song. I don't have a clip of their chorus, but to me it sounds like you're trapped inside of a, a crazy mach rhythmic machine uh, that all its parts are made out of static. That's the best way I can describe it. But the chorus is, is more rhythmic than the other two types, and that's one way you know you're within a decula chorus. Next up is the Magic Skate at Trey Decula. Trey Deck, meaning 13 year, first described by Alexander and Moore in 1962. And it's pretty much the same thing as the M. Septon Decula. So, 13 years, slow building song, ending in a tick, tick, tick. Uh, smaller than Decim, about the same size as Cass and I. And the Adam, always with the orange and black stripes. We may as well talk about gender as well. So, the difference, the key difference between male and female cicadas is that the males will be singing and the females don't sing. The females can make a noise and they do this by flicking their wings or clicking their wings. Uh, but the males are the ones making the uh, 80 decibel screaming, so uh, that's one key difference. But what if it's cold? What if it's uh, freshly emerged and you want to figure it out? So the easiest way is to look at the abdomen. Females have ovipositors, male cicadas don't because... Offie positors are used for laying eggs, and males don't lay eggs. So if you look at that picture there, the male is all the way on the right, and there's two females on the left, and you can see that, that big thing that looks like a spear on the left-hand side, and that's what they use to uh, make slots and branches to lay eggs. And so that's, I think, the easiest way to see if it's a male or a female periodical cicada. Please visit cicadamania.com and if you observe a cicada please report it to magiccicada.org